episode. We made it to Miami. So tired right now. Didn't even sleep on that flight yesterday, last night. Um, but we're just eating right now. Super early. It's like 8 a.m. Still got two hours until we go to the cruise port. So we're just hanging out here at Panera for a while. Um, I just got this bagel, cinnamon crunch bagel. So good with hazelnut cream cheese. What'd you get? Sesame bagel with cream cheese and a chocolate chip muffin with ice. Oh, this guy, I didn't even know they had coffee here. Like, I've never seen that. I got a plain bagel with some peanut butter. That's like my go-to, not even kidding. Okay, check out this girl that's in this Panera. The most weird, crazy thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Guys, this has been such a weird experience inside this Panera. First, we had this girl that was dressed with fucking spikes all over her and shit, and like all this crazy stuff. And then you see this guy like right here. This dude has been here since we got here at like two hours ago. And no joke, this dude was talking on the phone to somebody about like killing people. <laughs> Money from different countries and some crazy shit. Like I'm not even kidding when I say this. Like I seriously think he's a killer. He was like saying to somebody, if you want to talk to me, you have to call me between 7 and 9 at night. And just saying all these random things. And then he's like, alright, well, we have to do this and that. What do you guys think? I think he's a killer. <laughs> I swear. Dang, we're just now leaving the Panera. We have been here for like three hours, I think. Has it been that long? It's been like three hours. But we just requested an Uber to the cruise ship port. And it's actually a Mercedes, and I think Matt got Uber Lux. We're going high! Everyone, <laughs> what am I saying? No, we didn't. Yeah, we're like so dead right now. We're like zombies. He didn't really get Uber, Uber Lux, but like I, somehow it's a Mercedes. I was like, it's probably just because we're in Miami and like it's very rich here, so. It's like passport, this, that, this, that. Oh, this is it. Our first step on the boat from land to boat right now. Oh, heck yeah. Dang, we just made it on. So this is what like the main lobby of the boat looks like. Whoa, it's so colorful in here. Oh my God. Damn, it's like gold in here. They got like circular balls, elevator. This looks so luxury, holy shit. They even got like a bar in here. Damn. This is the only thing that sucks about cruises, like, cause there's so many people in one area. Like whenever you're trying to go from like point A to B, there's always so many people trying to get on the elevators and you just end up standing around for so long. But the more and more I look at this ship, I'm like, who designed this freaking boat? Like all these colors just mixed together. Who thought of this? Whoa, 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 check this out. There's a person dressed up in this costume. What is that? Come on, come on. Come on, man. Take a photo of that. Oh, what is that? What is that supposed to be? It's the elephant tower. Just got to the Lido deck. This is where like all the action happens. This is where like all the food is, where everyone hangs out. The pool is, just all that kind of stuff. Oh, they got like a big screen. What is that, Nemo? They got some people playing music. 
All right, here's the pool. All right, all right. You know what's crazy is this roof like moves. So if it's rainy out, they'll put it on and then you can still go swimming, which is pretty sick. We're still out here exploring the boat. We've only done like one tenth of this boat. It's so big, like. Wait, is this the boat right? No, no, this is an old one. Dang, that's so crazy. Low key, I've always wanted to like have one of these as a remote control one to drive in like a pool. Do you ever think about that too? Or is it just me? Like whenever you see these boats, you're like, it'd be so fun to drive one of these in like a pool or something or a lake. <laughs> or am I the only one who thinks yeah, that? Especially this size as well. Yeah, wouldn't that be sick? I don't know. Just but so right now. <laughs> I'm down. Right there in the pool. Um, but just pretend this is a cruise ship for a second. So you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven floors. We're on the eleventh floor, which is the best floor to be on. Because like all the food, all the entertainment, all the pools, everything is on the eleventh floor, so it's like perfect. planes on water damn ah uh, so you guys haven't seen me as my mom yet my mom just got here say hi mom hey <laughs> but uh me and my mom are just like kind of going around right now checking out the boat we're at the back right now we're heading to the front just looking at everything oh i think this is like a restaurant here hey look there's me so we just found out there's a hot tub on this upper deck inside this room that's pretty sick there's nobody in there though i wonder why well everyone just got on the boat wait mom let's go in in our clothes right now she's like nah i never really understood this they have these expensive paintings that you can buy like look at this they literally just have these paintings on this wall and if you wanted to purchase one you can I mean, they're, they are really detailed, but still. Those things are probably like $500. They've gotta be expensive. So mom and I are checking out the rooms right now. We just came to our floor where our room is at. Check, these wall, check this wallpaper out. It's like old fashioned themed, like from the 50s and 60s. I'm loving this. Cause you guys know I love music from the 50s and 60s. All right guys, better not come into my room. My room is 9198. What is Just kidding, I know none of you guys are are on this boat. Well, maybe. Mom, I just told them your room. People are gonna come to your room. <laughs> so, we have like these premium rooms. Like, hold on. First off, okay, that's this is the premium rooms. So you come down here, and these are like the normal ones, right? And then you come down here, and this is where our room's at. Check this out. Oh my gosh, that's so, look how big this is. Look at the windows. You guys better not be taking your clothes off in here. I do. Just so we don't get us. Wow, that is so cool. Look at this, you have like a whole pull out bed right here. Huge mattress. Ooh, look at these lamps though. So my parents' room is literally like one of the first rooms on the boat. Like you have these huge windows. And then look, right down there, that's the front of the boat. So you guys are gonna be able to see like every island when we first get there. Right. That's cool. Matt's about to see my parents' room for the first time. God. What do you think? Isn't that crazy? What? There's this inc well three really, but one of them's just covered. Why is it covered? I don't know. Oh my. I told them they better not go naked in front of it. Oh my god. Nah, nobody would see them anyways. This is this is lit. I know. This is lit right here. This is so cool. Right? This is like but I like ours because ours faces know, like this, the direct front. I'll show you guys ours wow. next. But ours is literally I, directly in front of the boat with like a huge story. window to just look out and you just see the ocean. Our room compared to theirs is pretty much the same thing, just not the three windows. But look at this. This is what I was talking about. Directly in front of the boat. That's so sick. So my parents just got their suitcase and my mom was like, did they take your liquor? Cause my dad always brings like alcohol on the boat. And so we just were, was looking through his suitcase and he did end up having it. They didn't take it. Thank God. So Matt and Daniel were sleeping. Let's see if they're still sleeping. When I left, they were. And thank you for choosing Carnival Cruise Line oh for my your vacation. God. Enjoy your cruise and bon voyage. They're still sleeping.
What's going on here? Is there a dead body in here? What the fuck? So Matt and Daniel had to wake up because we have to do this thing where like if the boat was sinking they make you go to like these certain stations and you like just stand there and they talk to you about like if the boat was sinking like this is how you get in a lifeboat this and that. It's really stupid. It's such a waste of time and it's like 30-40 minutes to maybe an hour. When you don't care about the boat sinking and you still have your food with you. <laughs> oh my god, this lady don't care. So basically this is what they make you do. They make you like stand here with all of these people just cram in here like this. It's so stupid and you literally do nothing wrong. back from that whole like mustard station thing it's so stupid that they make you do that in the first place i understand like it's it's for like if the boat sinks and stuff but it's like so outdrawn i just feel like all the stuff they tell you there's just so much information and you're just kind of like like literally nobody there is even listening but uh we're back in the room now and i was like sitting here and i was like wait the boat is definitely shaking and we're starting to leave now slowly but surely Damn, it's crazy. It's so crazy how big this boat is and how they move this thing away from the dock. It's pretty incredible. So Daniel and Matt didn't even come with me. They were too worried about like taking a shower and like all this stuff. I was like, you guys aren't gonna even come up here. Like you're gonna miss this whole thing because the boat's like leaving the port right now. So they're worried about taking a shower and changing. I was like, you guys can literally do this when we get back. But check this out. That's so crazy. Check that out, I don't know if you guys can see that. Right here, there's literally a boat carrying people's cars. That's so cool. That's incredible. So I don't know if you guys can see that, it's kind of hard to see, but right there, there's people on jet skis. There's like four of them. Why are they out there? Like, the boat is so close to them. I mean, I guess they're not in the wake though, but still, like, I swear, I'm just waiting for us to hit them. Dang, we were all wondering where our bags were because they were taking forever to get here. It's like five o'clock right now. And usually they come here by like 3.30, 4 at the very latest. And it's five and we just now are getting them. Like my bag just came to the door. Thank God. It's actually now the next day. Uh, we ended up like laying down last night at like 8 o'clock because we were so tired. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to sleep for like one hour. Then I'm going to go to the show and go see this comedian that they had last night. And the problem was is I just ended up sleeping. I slept insanely long. I woke up at like 6.30 this morning. And yeah. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'm going to end this right here. Also, I wanted to say a lot of the clips in this uh, vlog or this episode were all messed up because I'm using this big DSLR Canon Rebel T6i camera. And I didn't realize that the mic was not completely plugged in. Like, you can barely tell. Like, literally, if it's plugged, unplugged the tiniest bit, it won't even record audio on the clips. So there's a ton of stuff from this episode I couldn't even include. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget my three B's. Be you, be awesome, be grateful, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Oh, it's out to morning. Dang, we're like the last ones to get on the plane. Look at this. There's like literally nobody here. We're the last ones. <laughs> <laughs>